Hello and welcome everyone. So I'll be explaining you two problems A and B of Div 3 uh, round maybe 697 round uh, code forces Div 3 problem A. So first we start with the problem A is actually quite easy one. Odd divisor we're given an integer A and we have to find out whether this integer number has any odd divisor but that divisor definitely or always has to be greater than or 1. So we just have to input yes or no if that number has that odd divisor which is greater than 1 or not. So the first observation you have to be you have to have is that that what I had was that um, okay if a number is already odd and greater than 1 this, then this is always yes. That's obvious because it is itself, it uh, it's its own uh, uh, odd divisor, right? Uh, the number itself is its odd divisor, which is greater than one. So we just have to check that, and then if the number is actually even, then we have to uh, like eradicate or erase all the even divisors. Now, how can we do do that? How can we just uh, find out uh, and get rid of the even divisors? We just have to do one thing. We just have to divide that number by two until there's uh, until there comes such number which is not divisible by two, which means obvious that can obviously that number after that um, uh, after doing that operation that number is gonna be either one or if it does not become uh, one then definitely it's gonna be a, an odd number which is greater than one because I am already dividing dividing the number by two checking the condition whether it is modulo of two equal to zero or not which means each time I'm checking whether this number is divisible by two or not and let's take you to okay let's say this is my number and uh, I will just check 2 to the power maybe x times I will just divide the if the number is uh, I mean if the number is odd I already told that the number uh, answer will be always yes if the number is 1 the answer is no it's not possible because the number itself is 1 and if the number is even then I have to check whether this number equal to some number y where okay I will try to explain this is that I will try to eradicate all the odd divisors yeah sorry even divisors by dividing that number by 2 if it does is divisible by 2 okay and we know that any number we can just draw it like um, power of prime numbers so 2 is one of the prime numbers so I can be assured that if I divide it by 2 until it does not get divided and finally I can get this number this number can be after eradicating and erasing this part I will have either y equal to 1 or any number greater than 1 which is definitely gonna be what odd number so that's exactly what I did. Let's take you to the code part here. First code is here. Look, I'm just checking the whether this number is even or odd. If it's odd, it's yes. Otherwise, I'm just checking whether it is divis divisible by two or not, and I'm just dividing it until I get a, any until I get any a point where I I can get uh, my p, which is not divisible by two and also greater than one. Then it's going to be yes. Otherwise, it's going to be no. So that's it, and let's jump to the problem B here. So that's a uh, that's an interesting problem actually. Um, um, so the problem name is New Year's number. So basically, the statement actually said that you're given a number n, and you have to determine whether you can uh, uh, whether it is possible to draw that that number using let me clarify this so what you have to do is you're given a number n and you have to find out whether this number is some multiple of 2020 adding 
with some multiple of 2021 which means something like this like x times 2021 plus y times 2020 okay whether any number n given number n whether this number can be built or can you can reach any number is in some way when you have a solution like this which means x times 2021 plus x y times 2020 so how uh, just you, you just have to like print yes or no okay you can make it or not make that number or not by doing this operation sometimes uh, x times operation and y times of 2020 or x times 2021 so if you slightly give an observation here you can find out that I just don't need 2021 okay I can e I can actually manipulate this part like this Z times 2020 plus P times 1 right is it possible yes it is possible I can easily say that because I have got one number 2020 and one number 2021 so you can obviously write that equation as as this right so what you have to do here is divide the number that you're given divide that number by 2020 and store the division value okay let's say this is n divided by 2000 20 and also try to keep track of the mod number the mod which means which means n mod 2020 by doing that what you get is okay to make number n i need p times 2020 right and i also need uh, and when you do the mod operations what do you get you get that um, I need um, D times uh, sorry what you have to do is okay you will uh, you will find first you have to you will find out that okay how many uh, P operations do I need uh, sorry how many 2020 is there inside that N okay when you find out and after that what you're going to be finding is the mod operation n mod 2020 which means how many numbers are left to make n right and interestingly this d this number d what is it referring to it means that i need that time uh, that uh, amount of number to make n so if you draw this number as each and every number as one which means I need some number of ones, right? Absolutely, that does make sense. I need some number of ones to make n when you do n mod 2020, right? So, if you give an observation, if you look closely, you can you can say that okay, if I can, if it is, uh, if this uh, the number of times 2020 occurred, if that number, which means this p is uh, greater than or equal to that number d then i can always find out my answer how let me give you an example let's see we've got um four uh, four zero two four okay let's see we've got what four zero two four i'll show you an example here four zero two four now uh, two, four zero, four two. Sorry, four zero four two. Okay. Now, when you divide this number with let's see, two thousand twenty. Um. Okay. Let me. Uh, Okay, I've got what? Okay, let me just explain you brief, uh, briefly. You'll understand that why it's actually happening. Okay, 
if you like what you just found out, I found out I've got P times 2020. If that P times 2020, what does that actually refer? That does actually mean that 2020 is coming P times like this. Plus 20, 20 plus blah, 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 blah. And, and what was the mod value? Let's say the mod value was B, which means I need D times of number, D times of one to make n now what i said i said that if d is less than or equal to p then I, the answer is always yes why this is yes if you assume that my p is three let's assume that my p is three and my d is one d is two let's assume that my d is two and my p is what three which means i have yet i have three uh, of 2020 okay Three, three times of 2020, okay? I've got the, uh, the amount of, uh, tw the, the count of 2020 is three, and my, uh, the number that I have to reach, I need also two values. Now, what you have to do is, if you think this number, why, why it's actually possible? I can make it. How? Look, D is two, right? So why not making this 2020 as 2021, and this 2020 as 2021? Then it's okay because I need what? X times 2020 plus Y times 2021, right? So that's how I'm going to be making it. Just making this one here, here. If anyone is available here, I can just make it on my own. So that's exactly how we're going to be doing. And uh, let's take you to the code part. This is the code part here. Pretty easy. You can. Uh, sorry not this one let's take it again from here this is the code bar just checking out what I have to do just mod this is just the initial case if it's not if that number is less than 2020 and this is in mod 2020 d is equal to n by 2020 checking it whether it's uh, here d is actually the times okay p is actually the mod and d is actually the time number of times it's coming so i hope i made you understand that good